सो हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम हैव यू एवर वंडर वॉट मेक्स योर फोन सो फास्ट और योर लैपटॉप सो पावरफुल द सीक्रेट लाइज इन अ फैसिनेटिंग फील्ड कॉल्ड वी एल एस आई और वेरी लार्ज स्केल इंटीग्रेशन सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू पुल बैक द कर्टन एंड एक्सप्लोर द कम्प्लीट रोड मैप ऑफ दिस इनक्रेडिबल टेक्नोलॉजी सो वी विल स्टार्ट विद द बेसिक्स टॉक्स अबाउट द चैलेंजेस वी आर फेसिंग एंड पीक इन टू द फ्यूचर so by the end you will see why vlsi is not just for engineers it is shaping all our lives so the complete vlsi road map from fundamentals to future innovations so this is where it all begins think of a vlsi chip as a city and the transistor asset buildings so the more buildings you can fit and the better they are organized the more powerful the city becomes this field is the bedrock of modern computing and it's a global powerhouse now see vlsi is everywhere it's what puts billions of transistor on a single chip powering the device we can't live without like smartphone and ai systems so this isn't just about cool gadgets it's a huge economy engine the semiconductor industry in a golden era with global investment in ai infrastructure alone projected to exceed a billion dollars by 2025 by mastering this field you are not just getting a job you are helping to shape the future of technology so how do you get started so it's like learning to build a skyscraper so you need to just strong your fundamentals so the core prerequisite for a vlsi career include digital electronics semiconductor devices and computer architecture you will also need to be a pro at hdl coding using language like verilog or vhdl to describe digital logic remember it's not about how much you know but how well you can solve the problems because as they say in bollywood picture abhi baki hai mere dost so this is real fun it's just beginning now a chip is not built by a single person it's a team effort there are different key roles in vlsi design each with a crucial part to play the chip architect is the visionary sketching out the blueprint for the entire chip the rtl designer translate the idea into a hardware code the verification engineer is a big hunter or you can say a bug hunter making sure that the design work perfectly the physical design engineer turns the code into a manufacturable layout optimizing everything for performance power and size okay so finally the dft and sign off engineer ensure the chip can be tested is ready for mass production or not now vlsi design flow overview so see here we are building a chip that follow a structured process almost like a recipe so first you have a specification where you define what the chip need to do now next you have rtl design where you write the code okay after that we have functional verification the rigorous testing phases and then after that is physical design where the layout is created after the final step we have tape out sending the design to the fabrication plant and this is the design to physical handoffs now technology scaling and murello so see for decades the vlsi world was governed by a murello it famously predicted that the number of transistor on a chip would double about every 2 year and the size of each transistor would shrink by roughly 30% so this led to an amazing rentless growth in computing power so we got smaller faster and more efficient power devices or you can say chip but as we go on below 10 nanometer these things have gotten tricky we are facing a new challenges the power density and manufacturing complexity so now modern vlsi challenges and solution so the old way are not enough anymore so the industry is getting creative we are now much more focused on ppa optimization which is all being finding the perfect between power performance and area we are also moving towards 3d integration so see stacking chip vertically like a high tech skyscraper to get more density another big push is in advanced architecture with new transistor design like finfet and gate all around finfet to keep scale alive okay now and to make all this work we use dtco or design technology co optimization where the chip design and manufacturing process are developed together now see after that we have tools and methodologies so vlsi is a high tech field and we need high tech tools so we rely on computer aided design or you can say cad tools to automate complex tasks like logic synthesis and routing these tools are the backbone of modern chip design helping us manage immense complexity and you can say 
we also use different design methodologies like standard cells for quick development and we heavily reuse IPs to speed up the design cycle. It's all about the embracing automation to get product to market faster. Okay. Now after that we have future trends and career outlook. So see the future of VLSI is super exciting. AI driven design is the next frontier with AI accelerating the design and verification processes. There is a huge demand of for specialized chip for things like AI acceleration and quantum Mac computing. Now see, and since the semiconductor is a vital global asset, a career here offers incredible stability and growth. Yeah, VLSI ka safar bada lamba hai yaar, lekin bada kamal ka hai. So this VLSI journey is long but it's amazing. Okay, now after that finally, your path forward. So see, it's in conclusion. So see, so what's your path forward? So first master the fundamentals. Fundamental is very important and get some hands-on experience. Now next choose your specialization. Do you want to design, verify or work on physical layout? After that always embrace continuous learning because this field is always changing. Finally get ready to shape tomorrow technology. So your VLSI roadmap is your gateway to the next generation of technological environment. So thank you for joining me today. I hope this gave you a clear picture of this incredible world of VLSI. I hope you have find all the answer of your questions and if you are preparing for verification or RTL then you can subscribe this channel. We have uploaded multiple videos from them. You can learn it. Okay. So thank you.